Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect on a very special Sunday night live market watch as we are not just watching the markets for the sake of watching the markets like we usually do. We are going to be watching to see how, if any, effect that the Basel III uh, regulations that are start to set for European Union banks uh, starting tomorrow, uh, that is Monday, which are hours away from. So the markets will open up very soon here, and we are going to take a look and see if there's going to be any reaction at all wow. here. Um, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So yes, indeed, welcome, everybody. We got a good crowd in already starting gate here. We're a little bit early, but we're going to go through this thing here. So if you're just joining us here, um, I actually did a video not too long ago last week on what is Basel III and how that's going to affect uh, gold prices or not. Um, so yes, indeed, so check that out. But essentially what it is, is it provides some new liquidity requirements that are known as the net stable funding ratio, the NSFR. And they basically are going to be requiring that banks hold more funding for unallocated gold. Um, and they're going to be set into effect as part of an ongoing phasing in process for uh, Basel III, which is driven by the Bank of International Settlements. And uh, we saw a part of that back in April of 2019 when they labeled gold a tier one asset on par and equal to cash, which is not really a very big compliment these days as cash and uh, has certainly is, is going dropping in value. But uh, there's one thing for sure, and that is gold and silver. Uh, they maintain their value uh, even despite price movements, and that may confuse some. But uh, nonetheless, it's about looking beyond just the day-to-day -day transactions. So here we go. The markets have refreshed, and they've opened up. And so far, well, they're not having that much of an effect in the positive direction for gold and silver, as they have opened up slightly down for gold and silver. Uh, gold is down 50 cents right now. Silver is down one cent. Good to see all you guys. Welcome. You're all here. A good crowd. We've got the treasure seeker. We've got Aaron. We've got Benny Barker, M. Nice, Jamie Fox. Uh, welcome, one and all. We've got Areno Vishnu. I think he's new here. Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Hello. Savage Stacker is here. Savage Stacker posted a great video today. Check it out. Uh, and again, prayers to Savage and his family over the loss of his mom. And uh, good to see Jamie Fox is here. He was first, actually. Uh, so, yes, indeed. Welcome, guys. Glad you're all here. Virginia Stacker is here. Welcome. And good to see you all. So, let's uh, press ahead here. We are going to um, um, go through here and grab a couple of boilerplate. I haven't had time to get that yet. So, let me grab that. And we're going to get moving here in some of the comments. But we are going to heavily be watching these markets. Uh, but so far, they've opened up. And they've opened up uh, slightly to the downside. Slightly to the downside. Uh, and just pretty much as I predicted, I didn't think that they would do, that it would do a whole lot. Um, because again, a lot of this stuff really, in my view, has been baked into the prices for quite some time. They knew this was going to be coming. The European Union banks really don't have as much uh, influence um, as uh, the London banks. And those banks, I think, are going to be required. They have until January 1st of next year. Uh, the American banks will hit it. Uh, July 1st, I believe. Uh, so yes, indeed. Very good. All right. Uh, Marsha Bostador is here. Marsha is brand new here and so glad to have you. Always appreciate new folks popping in. Uh, Jay Clow is here. I think he's new. Big Money is here. And Man Thing also uh, new. Uh, at least I've not seen you guys before. So thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Battleborn is waving to us. Donald Robinson Said, live long and perspire. And Freedom Stacker. Look at Freedom Stacker. Thank you so much. The first super chat of the night. Thank you, sir, as we do our Basel III market watch. Welcome, Freedom Stacker. He's got a little emoji of their clapping hands there. Very cool. Yes, indeed, Brian. I did went back and check out the rally. It was great, for sure. Freedom Stacker says, press one. That's right. Thank you again to Freedom Stacker. He's got a great channel. One of the most disciplined stackers out there. 
He is uh, documenting his progress on stacking, so check it out. Valencia, 777. Yes, gold tier one. Cash down to tier two or tier trash. There you go. Exactly right. Benny Barker, yes, good to see you. All right. Thank you so much, Marsha Bostadur. I appreciate you so much. I'm glad you're here. means a lot. I always like to see new people here, so thank you so much. And thanks for the kind words. All right. Uh, oh, Orders was there. You were at Wellington, Ohio, Orders. You were at that rally. That's great. That is so cool. I would love to go to one. Well done, Orders. I'm glad you went. Sign Up is here. Hello, Sign Up. Silver UFO is here. So so there's where the markets are. Let's get, we're going to, what we do here, for those who aren't familiar, um, we also, in between this market watch, we'll watch those markets closely, but we also answer some of the comments here, and we interact with the chat side as well, too. So on this video that I posted this morning, Silver may crash soon. Yeah, is it pretty interesting article here that I covered and provided some commentary for? Mia Lawrence says, tell them all, whoever sells, I will buy it, and I will buy it all. There you go. So um, it's Ma Lawrence. I'm sorry, not Mia Lawrence, but Ma is ready to pick it all up. Understandable. Bruce says, silver will go down 50% probably in 2022. Um, he says there... So, uh, yeah, what we shall see. He said silver may go down in uh, 2022. Uh, not now, it's too soon. So be prepared to buy when it hits the bottom because after the fall, it will probably go to 70 and stay there for a while before it moves up again. I was tempted like you to buy more now, but I'm going to wait for the big fall before I buy. Whatever you decide to do, you're not going to lose in the long run buying silver at any price. That's true. If you do pay higher premiums, they may have to wait a little bit longer to realize that. But yes, indeed, it's good to see you guys. A lot of good crowd coming in tonight. We've got uh, Silver Wolverine is here. Hello, Silver Wolverine. Good to see you. Fabian T is here. Hello, Fabian. Always good to see you. Kristen Rowe is here. I think she's new as well. Kristen, so glad to see you. Thank you for being here. Ziggy is here. Mark B is here. Thank you. Tom Duke. All right. Welcome. Welcome, guys. All right. I see new faces. All right. Oh, about six rows back. All right. Nice. Yes, he did look good. Yes, indeed. All right. Orders. That's great. All right, guys. So William Jelinski says, I find it hard to believe that silver will crash, but if it does, it's on sale. That's exactly right. I agree. I certainly agree with you on that. And I don't think it's necessarily going to crash, but I think we could see some more dips as we move ahead into the... Um, into the uh, months ahead here. Very good. Silver Patriot FGNS is here. Good evening to you, my friend. Welcome. Thank you so much. And Kristen has confirmed that she is new. Well, we're, well I'm welcome. We're so glad to have... Always good to have a new female members as well, too. Very good. All right. Basil 3 is good for me. It says JM. Yes, the JM. It looks like JM has become a member of the, Sal of the channel member of the Salvation Nation. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. How much time is a trillion seconds? That's 31,688 years. So you think about that in terms of time and gives you an idea of how much money they are spending with this uh, one trillion, just a trillion dollars. It's crazy when you compare it to time. So welcome again to all the new members or all the new folks joining us here tonight. This is the Basel Three Market Watch. We're a very special time because uh, some people predict the prices are going to go crazy. I'm not one of those. I think there's not going to be, it's going to be uh, not a whole lot happening. I don't think it'll have any effect. In fact, right now the prices are down slightly. We'll uh, come back here and see in just a moment. But Silver Turtle says here, another crash. I'm patiently waiting for Silver to go to the moon. Just like Mike said, it was a sure thing. Yes, indeed. And that's just it. Uh, whether it be Mike Maloney or any other analyst out there, um, you know, take our words for it as a grain of salt. Uh, do your own due diligence and don't um, necessarily take what any of us say as the gospel truth. Um, you know, these are opinions we're making. Um, though some may be more educated than others, um, you know, oftentimes we're wrong. I know I've been wrong before. And this is why I'm very cautious about predicting these moonshot prices. JNS says, can't talk about precious metals without talking new banking laws, both Basel III and the new reserve changes in the U.S. There's a war between banking systems. Basel III seemingly wants to add some stabilization to banks by eliminating paper metals. Well, it doesn't eliminate paper metals. It just makes it more expensive to have paper metals. Um, but yes, indeed. In the U.S., the banks will now 
not be required to hold any reserves. Zero. Just as I heard the FDIC has literally a few pennies for every dollar for deposit in the nation's banks. Do you think the dollars are safe? Bottom line, all fiats are becoming toilet paper. There's no real way to value any assets tied to these phony monetary systems. So only fools worry about their spot prices, which are meaningless. Well, but here's the difference, JNS, and that is that um, dollars, we have a little bit of hubris here in this country, um, but it may be backed by the faith that the world has in the dollar as the top of the world reserve currencies or the breadbasket of currencies by the IMF. And so I think that's why they can do what they do um, and they feel like they don't have to really have this backing or any reserves for these banks because, hey, they deal in dollars and they're American banks. Uh, I think it's unwise um, and I think it's, but at the same time, until other nations and other banks around the world stop you using the dollar, then I think they can continue to do that. But that's just my opinion. All right. Very good. All right. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, that's right. Yes. Fabian T. Yeah. You may not have been here. I added a whole bunch of new emoticons or emojis. I'm sorry. Emojis. Uh, just click on the smiling face. That is a bullet. It is not love buttons, love toy. Just so you know, CCT, it's not a love toy. It is not a vibrating device, Device, just so you know. All right. And it's not lipstick either. It is not lipstick. That is a bullet. And somehow, some way, I might have to remove it because people can think it's a lipstick or some other type of device. But hey, we got Gold Chick Vibafell is here. Check out the uh, the vibrating device we have in the emojis, Gold Chick. No, I'm kidding. It's a bullet, guys. It's just a bullet. Some of our new ladies might be offended. We do like to joke around a little bit here. So I apologize to the new ladies that are here. But hey, we like to have fun. I hope you don't mind. We have a little sense of humor here. Sometimes we get a little bit crude. But hey, we like to be respectful too. But yes, indeed. All right. Uh, but we enjoy it. We have fun. And this is our market watch. We are have a special one tonight. We're looking at Basel three, And uh, it is the eve of it. And see if there's any effect at all. It looks like there's no effect so far, at least in the Asian markets. That could change, though. When the London markets open up, they may freak out over it. I don't think they will, though. I think it's pretty much going to be a uh, draw there. So very, very good. All right. Nice. And so there we go. Again, no movement at all. They're down just slightly, down 80 cents for gold, uh, down one cent for silver. Both the exact same percentage drop, 0.04%. Platinum is up a dollar. Palladium is down $12. All right. Very good. All right. Nice. Rich Dyer is here. Good to see Rich. Hello. Glad you're here. That's right. Yes, indeed. That's right. Shan, not a love toy. It is a bullet. It is just a bullet, guys. Only a bullet. And it's a 45. I actually had to stretch it out a little bit. So it probably looks more like a snub nose 50 caliber round. But anyways, I take that back. All right. Mm. Ah, very good. Nice to see you guys. Appreciate you being here. So we're, there's where the prices are. Uh, and stick around because... At the top of the hour, we will actually explore what the charts have been doing uh, with it. So we'll we'll see how the charts have been performing over the last hour as we move on through to some more comments. Ziggy says, crash like 2012. Yeah, they did start to kind of, that's when they started to kind of go back down a bit. Um, a steady decline. Jay Silver Bravo is here. Good to see you. Another day is here. Basel 3, I didn't know they made a third album. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And it's B-A-S-E-L, Benny Barker. All right, there we go. Uh, sign up loves toys. 45 for me to reload. There you go. Save your brass and reload. That's the way to do it. Save some money if you've got a reloading machine. Thumbs up says a global warmer. Thank you, the global warmer. Donnie B says back the truck up. There you go. If it crashes, back it up. And we're going to slurp this coffee. I forgot. I've been remiss. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, where's Terry79? We need Terry. Bill 457, salivate, have a question. Who's Who lobbies for the silver? Is it the miners? Um, you know, I don't know uh, who lobbies. There, If there's a lobby group or what have you, there may probably, the, there is a, I think there is a, a lobby group that uh, lobbies for precious metals to not be taxed, but I forget the name of that organization. Um, yes, indeed. I just see broccoli to reload, says Savoy Truffle. He must have a lot of methane to, to pump in. Is in, in there for probably what it is? Yes, Folgers Black Silk. That's right, David Gonzalez. Yes, indeed. Good to see you. 
Okay. Good stuff. Valencia. Hey, you gotta have a sense of humor if you're a stacker. That's right. You sure do. All right. Um, gold chick. Yeah, these these emojis I made on my own. Um, so they're ones I created on my own in Photoshop, gold chick. So there's nothing implanted in them unless Google puts something in after the fact. But I, I don't think there's um, nano DRM data in it. I hope not. Um, but hey, if you can find them in there, let me know. Uh, but anyways, all right, very very good. Ah. Uh, I like Folgers Instant Coffee, says Bill457. Okay. Now, let's move up. T, the silver stacker. It goes down on by more. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Sky Pilot says, great video, Sal. Can you do a video on swap chain? Keep buying steady all metals. I don't know what swap chain is. I'd have to do some research on that, Sky Pilot. All right. Very good. Guy uh, Brock says, there may be a dip in the spot price before the stock market crash, but the crash will force the spot price up. Um, while those getting out of stocks look for a place to put their money trying to keep it safe from inflation, um, what little is paid in interest in bonds that will not be enough to cover the inflation rate? Buy the dip and hold, hold, hold. And that really is the key, I think, as far as uh, stability is to hold on to your precious metals. Um, I would not be buying them um to flip you know um, you know to fl to flip one day to the next now there's collectible coins that you can do that with and people have been very successful during the hype of it but i don't it's much more of a gamble to essentially day or week or month trade precious metals all right very good all right welcome chiefly chieftain is here good to see you welcome guys veronica stack says i'm not so sure that this is going to be anything that could be called a re currency reset uh, well, they're already talking about it. I think it's pretty much a done deal. Now, the timing of it is a different thing, but there will be a reset of our currencies at some level. All right, very good. Gold Maple says, I'm not buying any more silver or gold. It's uh, going to, it's, um, it's going up, then coming down, going up, coming down. I'm just holding silver and gold. I'll just sell a few at a time when I need money or quick cash. And that's understandable. Uh, the markets are a little bit volatile right now. Um, and you have to be able to stomach that, I think, um, in order to be a buyer or seller in these markets. Um, and especially a buyer, because you never know. The price goes down, and then you make a purchase, and then they, it falls even more. So, you know, you just have to kind of uh, keep that into account. Uh, but yes, indeed. Okay, very good. Good to see you've got some, uh, again, some other newer folks popping in the live stream. Very good. HVAC Residential Basics says, I have coffee. Let's take a slurp together. One, two, three, let's go. Boom, here we go. Ministry of Metals is here. Bonjour to you, sir. Welcome. Uh, who would be the biggest holders of silver ETFs in Morgan? How many street level people own SLV? Um, yeah, Morgan, J.P. Morgan is the custodian for those ETFs, uh, but it's whoever owns those. But there's a lot more of the silver ETFs than there are the silver to back it up. I think that's pretty much a, an established fact, although the PSLV is actually backed by the physical product. Benny Barker, how about a quarter ounce of gold a month challenge for our channel members? Oh, my goodness gracious, yes. Uh, um, let's see, like to have you guys buy a quarter ounce, is there a challenge? Yeah, if you want to, I don't like to, I mean, I don't really like to um, issue that, those kind of challenges to folks. Hey, you should buy this if you can, let's see if you can do it. Everybody's situation is different. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, but if you guys want to do that on your own, hey, uh, feel free. I just to say, ac accumulate at your own pace. Um, uh, one challenge I did do is to, um, is, is to have a, a, an envelope, a gold envelope with cash in it. That you put money in and then you use it. I actually still do that to a point, but yes, indeed. So, all right, very good. All right. Greetings, Len D. Welcome. Uh, Fatonia only owns physical metals. Me too. I don't have any paper uh, metals out there. Hello, Ned Flanders. Good to see you. Um, Stephen Hopkins says, if you're in it for the long haul, do not sweat it. That's exactly right. 
wise words from an established signator of the Declaration of Independence. Stephen Hopkins was an actual signer on the Declaration of Independence. So, Stephen, I don't know if you knew that or not, but yes, you are a signer of the Declaration of Independence. All right, very, very good. Okay, let's see here. Now, we're going to do a couple more comments, and we're going to check these markets. So, hold on tightly and loosely, too. All right. All right, very good. Um, always appreciate your opinion, Sal, says, hi, Steve. I still have confidence in the long-term savings hedge aspect of gold and silver. Amen, brother. I do, too. Now, if I were to see a billboard with just buy silver on it or see posts with cryptic messages like GLD WhatsApp or see replies asking me to trust someone's silver trading strategies with multiple replies saying how their method has worked for great for them, then maybe I'd be a bit suspicious. That's right. Exactly right. Brilliant comment. Hi, Steve. That's right. All right. Let's see here. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Just hit the like. We need more. There we go. I'm not opposed to people hitting the thumbs up button. I really am not. All right. Uh, oh, I love that Ministry of Metal. Smash that love button. There you go. Exactly. We need a love button for love button. All right. All right. And Disco74. Hi, diddly do neighbor. Good to see you. Bill457 is still with us. Good to see you. LTD3 has got some salt shakers there. I think those are salt shakers. I'm not sure. Where is Love Button? Yeah, I want to know where Love Button is. James O'Neill is here at a snail's pace, but he's glad he's here. So let's see what the markets are doing right now. Well, so far, it looks like uh, gold is now only down 60 cents, 0.03, negative 0.03. Silver, though, has dropped three cents, down 0.11, just over a tenth of a percentage point. But it really, essentially, there's not a lot of activity at all in the markets. Uh, so, yes, that's where they're at. Not a whole lot going on here, but they are uh, down slightly. Cash and Coins is here. Welcome. Very good to see you. And uh, so we'll see. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for smashing that thumbs up button or pressing it, at least. You don't have to smash it because you might need it again. If you smash the thumbs up button, then it's broken and you can't use it again. I, I'm all about being resourceful, be able to do it. Global Warmer just made it. Good to see you. And Red Crawler is here. I'll brew some coffee and do some push-ups. I might do some push-ups too. We might have a push-up challenge. I don't know. What do you think? Super chat push-up challenge, a dollar a push-up. Might as well. I mean, we're waiting for Basel three to have an effect on the markets. So we might as well get some blood flowing, right? Mm. Ah, very good. All right, guys. So that's where that is. So the markets are there. Palladium is down. Platinum is absolutely flat. No activity with platinum right now. There was earlier. Justin Sartain is here. Good to see you. Savoy Truffle. Sal is the grand poop ball of the Lullaby League. Yes, indeed. We need to sing you guys a lullaby. Uh-oh. Clint Cowan smashed it with a hammer. Oh, my goodness gracious. We're going to have to fix it. We're going to have to fix it. Disco broke his up thumb, or thumbs up button. All right. Metro card says, I hope it crashes to a dollar. I'll buying it all. Please crash, please. Yes, indeed. Well, those of us who have been stacking a while, you know, you kind of uh, look forward to the times. Whoops. You kind of look forward to the times when uh, when, when the markets go, uh, when they drop like that. Yes, indeed. Uh, Danny, uh, K-pop and gold just bought a one ounce gold maple last week. Now saving up for a one ounce type two gold eagle. All right. Yes, indeed. I've got one of those in order too. Seeing I frog free markets will crash the bankers. Yes, indeed. Hopefully they will. Yes. All right. Very good. And William Jelinski is here. Oh, and Fabian in with the first 20 push-ups for the super chat push-up challenge. He, he's being very kind to me, you know, start me out. Um, uh, slow here, so let's stretch this out for Fabian T. All right, we need to do it. Let's get some push ups here. All right, very good. Who is in charge? Let's do a drill pickle so far. It looks like it's Fabian that's in charge. He has put me to task. 20 push ups. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, man. Okay, I had to slightly overachieve there. 
Oh, the treasure seeker says real. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. He believes me. Thank you so much. All right. Salivate Metal brought to you by Fabian T. That's right. Thank you. Finding Kino says not fake. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, Marsha, that's actually a good question. How available will silver be uh, when it drops? If it were to drop substantially, you watch, you will see. Supplies will dry up pretty quickly. There'll be another run on it for sure. I agree. All right, very good. And let's get to a couple more comments, then we'll revisit the markets, see what they're doing. Precious metal says, "Well, though some are very well, though some are very wrong, the only place silver and gold are going is up, up, and up." So he's very bullish on the metals. Okay. Thank you, Fabian. I appreciate it. All right, silver's moving in positive territory, says JM. Let's see. Okay, right now it's now at zero. So it may start moving up soon. Wow, maybe those push-ups have helped silver. We'll see here. Very good. Uh, let's see. And gold is down only 20 cents, so the markets may be taking a reversal here. By the way, gold to silver ratio is at 68.25, as we can see here. And in the chat side here, we have J or LJV. Hello, so how do the Mint employees compete with everyone else when we try to purchase online? Do they get ahead with the privilege? I don't think so. I think they don't, I don't think they give the employees any special advantage or anything like that. I know when I went and visited the uh, the mint um, shop in Washington D.C., the guys there they the guys there say that they buy them just like anybody else do. Uh, so I don't think they get any special discounts or anything like that, from what I understand. All right, very good. Push the prices up, says Mark Bernard. Yes, indeed. We'll try our best. Maybe what's working with those push-ups. Who knows? Maybe we're the ones. Maybe my push-ups are the way to manipulate the markets. Who knows? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, gold is at a nice price now for the Basil stuff. Yes, indeed. It's down under $1,800. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. And good to see you guys. We have a pretty good crowd here tonight. We have 100 thumbs up. We are looking at the markets. The reason why this is an important... Um, uh, evening for the markets is is it the, it's the eve of the Basel III regulations. Now I have been predicting for quite some time that I didn't think it was going to have any effect on the prices for uh, gold um, or by association silver, and it looks like at least in the Asian markets that is uh, ringing to be true. But I predict that tomorrow morning we'll all wake up and we'll see the prices maybe maybe a little bit up or maybe a little bit down. But uh, I think a lot of these price movements that we have seen that had any effect were pretty much kind of baked in uh, there for it anyways. But yes, indeed. Uh, Silversmith, I see so many newbies in the stacking now. Um, at uh, pretty much now at any price drop, they will quickly bought up. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. All right, very good. Have been priced in long ago, says Ned Flanders. Yeah, and I tend to agree. I think these uh, are pretty baked in. Uh, but anyway, very good. Oh, Shan, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate that, Shan. Very kind of you. As we move forward into the comments, let's get back to the comments here. Mike Silverman, I'm not sure how the government could reset the dollar without driving gold and silver prices higher a reset is a collapse of the dollar not sure what sal is saying um uh well mike you probably are referring to another video that i posted quite some time ago um uh, where basically i i basically put out the scenario that i could see a situation where actually silver could drop down drastically because they revalue the dollar just like what uh, zimbabwe did they traded in the uh 100 trillion dollar note in November of 2008 for the new Zimbabwe dollar in 2009. And so therefore everything was priced at a lot less dollars. So if they reset the dollar, they could totally just revalue everything and including precious metals, obviously. 
So that's kind of where I was going with that. Maybe I was referencing that. But good. Silver Drill Pickle is here, but he's driving. So thank you so much for listening. Hello, Silver Scientist. Welcome, Silver Scientist. Good to see you. Justin Sartain is here. Thank you. Gold Chick. Always good to see Gold Chick here. VT Ryder is here. All right. Welcome. And thank you, Nathan Locke. You are the man. I appreciate you so much being here, all you guys. So there's where we are at. Um, we'll get uh, we'll check the markets again here momentarily, but this is why we're here tonight and why it's so special. Uh, but again, I have a feeling we're not going to see a whole lot of activity. Um, but we'll be here just in case. That's what these Sunday, Mar Sunday night market watches are. There have been times when the prices have really spiked up or really plunged, and it could be due to a technical glitch or what have you. We'll see, but we can see that too. All right, very good. We've had some, we've had some pretty exciting Sunday night market watches in the past. Uh, Key S Z Tyrek says, "I hope so." So he hopes the price will go down. Richard P says, "I hope it does a pullback, but when we're still in the bugging of a long bull run for silver, it does another pullback. I'll buy all I can. We're going to the moon, but it's a long game. The long game is what we have to look out for." Thank you, JD. I appreciate you, sir. Yes, thank you so much. And what percentage you have in fiat? Uh, I think you should have some, but that percent you might have to work out with your um, situation for sure. Yes, indeed. But good question, brothers bullion. Welcome. Days of Confused Stacker is here. Good to see you. Coins A to Z says, always look at lower metal prices as a good opportunity to buy because I haven't stopped buying silver and gold and platinum to the moon. There we go. DA, distant aggressor, says every payday is an accumulation opportunity there you go that's right if you got extra cash then that's exactly a good way to go yes indeed all right very very good and joseph contini says it's a mess isn't it sal um they keep guessing on when the world's coming to an end as we know it yes that's right they sure do it's insane i'll be back time for some pool skinny dipping for silversmith all right enjoy Enjoy the skinny dipping. All right, very good. Let's get a couple more comments and we'll come back and take a look at the markets here in just a moment. All right. Uh, William uh, Lanucci, it's true it will last only a week, but I doubt it because it's all it's low already. And if it goes lower, you won't be able to buy it anyway uh, do it at, uh, due to that it's all but gone. That's true, exactly. People will be, will be, uh, will be ramping it all up scooping it up just like they did in march of last year um, i think your info came out to stop people from getting right now in hopes that they will wait for a drop brother to take pressure off the markets besides the premiums will skyrocket when and if that happens that's true because the premiums have only gone down just a very little bit uh and he says you got to think like a wolf but you're not a wolf that's right exactly that's true that's right very true all right it's crazy hot there in Vancouver. Seems like the Northwest is seeing a pretty big heat wave for sure. All right. Ah, oh, let's see here. Very, very good. Dip is coming. They need to get rid of paper metals quick. So seeing eye frog. Yes. I don't like un unallocated for sure. I do not like the unallocated pieces. Let's have another bite here. Or some chocolate. Stacking point says, great job reporting. Thank you. Stacking points. Thank you, sir. He is a, a year-long supporter of, of an honorary citizen. Thank you, sir. Robert Watkins, how do they reset the currency without uh, affecting the debt? Um, well, that's if they were to revalue, reset it uh, at the same exchange rate. Uh, I don't think they will. I think they're going to do it. I think, in a sense, they're going to try to make it so they can... Uh, take a big chunk out of that debt uh, by using some sort of um, black magic with our currencies and revalue in that regard. Finding Kino says, uh, do you think JP Morgan has released some of the physical silver in order to keep the price down? I don't think so. Um, but I can't say for sure if they've actually released because all they have really is the stuff to back the SLV. There's not enough silver there to back that up. So I don't think they do. I don't think they will. Um, the only way that I think they would do that is if people demanded the physical from their from the SLV. And I don't even know if that's even possible. 
Uh, I got on that one. All right. Miles Miles says they're going to crush the price before Basel Three, and we are on the eve of Basel Three tonight. So will they crush the price tonight? I don't know. We'll see here. Ah, slurping some coffee here on this nice Sunday evening as we watch these markets. We are looking at the uh, prices for gold and silver in Hong Kong, Asia right now. Uh, on the eve of Basel III regulations coming into effect for these um, requirements for unallocated gold holdings between these banks. Um, and we're going to look at the markets and see how they're reacting right now. I can see the paper price is going all the way to 22 again. Oh, you know, that's not out of the realm of possibilities. I kind of don't think they're going to go much below 25 myself in the short term. Coin Sniper Chris says, if it dips like in last March, I will buy even more than I did last time. My silver stack will explode. I mean, explore. There you go, Coin Sniper. All right, munching on some nutty, fruity, chili mango. All right, nice. Sounds good. All right. Yelling is on crack, exactly. That mix has a silver Fender guitar pick. Very neat collector's items for any musicians. Yes, but it is very small. It's a very small pick. I've seen a video on it. I have a gold Battleborn. You got to check out the, my 24 karat gold guitar pick video. Uh, search for the most expensive guitar pick in the world on YouTube. It should pop right up. Funk Ted Forcelli. That's right. He's right. Funk Ted is right. Inflation is a hidden tax. And uh, and Jerry Davis asked if does J.P. Morgan actually have physical silver? I think they are custodians of that silver, but I don't know that they actually own it. All right, very good. And uh, T.H. says it already has. Yes, it already has a crash, is what he says. Uh, Kristen, yeah, the B.I.S. lacks a com accountability because the B.I.S. is the arbiter of accountability, apparently. So who do they? Who are they accountable to? I guess they're the gods of the, the Bank of International Settlement is the god of the central banking world. I guess it's kind of like Congress here. Who are they accountable to? Well, they should be accountable to the, to the American people. But what about a big international bank? Um, you know, who are they accountable to? Who is the United Nations accountable to? You know, it's crazy. So there is a uh, that bit of a concern that I think is a little bit troubling here. T-H-O says, it doesn't matter what silver spot price does. He's saying, if everyone with physical silver stays firm on their asking prices, try buying silver lower of spot prices dip. My dealers just hold firm and wait it out. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what happened in March 2020 and really ever since then. The price of silver and their uh, premiums have, uh, have, have, have risen. They have risen. All right, good evening. All right, thank you, Savage, for being here, my friend. Yes, take care. Yes, indeed. Have we lost Terry, Barb, and Donald since last silly? Um, no, no, Terry's come back, Fabian. Uh, but um, I can't say, I don't know. Uh, it looks like we have, at least for now, for the other two, which is uh, sad and unfortunate. Um, but, um, you know, that's up to them. I don't want to make a big deal of it here. That's whatever... Whatever it was, I thought was solved, but apparently they're still upset, um, even though I've taken action. But uh, nonetheless, um, we're just going to move forward. That's all we can do. Um, and that's un totally unnecessary drama occurred there, and I don't think there's any, needs to, any time needs to be wasted on that. So, but, uh, but I'm thankful for everybody else that's here and appreciate you guys, and we'll just press forward here. And the Boomer53 says... The riggers can take silver back to whatever they want, um, is what he's saying here. Um, uh, what will that do? He's asking the question. Make buyers not want it? Um, well, some people actually, you know, when the price goes low, typically that happens. As silver becomes unloved, it worked. It worked back in uh, between in the in 2014 through 2018, even in, in the 2019. Silver was becoming less loved. I remember because I was covering the markets then. Um, victims of their own actions lower the price. Make buyers want to buy it. Raise the price. Make buyers want to scramble before supply runs out. They're stuck. Well, 
And that's if you believe it. See, there's manipulation that happens both ways. We know that it's been documented. You're talking about price suppression. And again, I know I've repeated myself because a lot of people talk about this, but I don't think we've seen any evidence of a cabal of bankers that are suppressing the price of silver. Regardless, we are buying it. There's a lot more silver out there that's being purchased by investors, stackers, than really ever before, I believe. I think that's probably a safe assumption to say there's more silver being bought now than ever before by folks like you and me. I think that's a great thing for sure. But you buy it with the understanding that if it goes down, even for an extended period of time, that uh, there's a reason for that. And you just hold on through those times. All right. Very good. All right. Let's move forward here. Johnny B, I'd be happy to buy bullion coins below $30 again. Yes, indeed. That'd be nice. Those were the days. All right, let's pause and look at the markets here. Okay, uh, again, not a whole lot of activity. Uh, gold is down 40 cents. Silver is down 2 cents. Um, and platinum is flatlined. No movement at all there. So we got the red. We've got the black. And we got palladium is the only metal that's up. And it's only up by $6. Um, so very, very good. So there's where the markets are right now. Uh, and again, in about uh, 20 minutes or so, we're going to look at the charts to see what the movement has been uh, throughout the last hour. All right, very good. And uh, gold, uh, the silver ratio is at, at 68.29. 68.29 is the gold to silver ratio. So it has actually risen a little bit. Silverholic, yeah, that's right. I don't think it's going to do anything either. Uh, Silverholic, I think it's going to be pretty much a flat line here. Um, so indeed so we'll do let's get back here to the comments bob sullivan says silver is going on sale and basically that's one way to interpret it very very good and then also we've got bob sullivan again on this video with yet another comment he is telling us here he's saying the u.s dollar is the prettiest horse in the glue factory that's right that makes the price confusing as the value of the dollar is able to defy gravity for a long time simply because other currencies are even weaker. The elastic will snap at some point and the silver price will go to $70 per troy ounce. So yes, we'll see. How long can it go? That's a thing people don't know. All right, Fabian, we demand a list of all the sales gal who signed up for the calendar. Please share lists of confirmed and recruit if open spots with our new ladies. Yes, uh... We have got, uh, yeah, we've got still some openings, but I think we've got um, uh, Lucy Stacks. Um, Gold Chick is still on, not sure. I need to get with her to see exactly what the status is on her ability to do it. Um, we have got, um, oh, shoot, Seduced by Silver, haven't heard back from her. Um, we have got uh, Silver Damsel, it's confirmed. We have got Tessa Cunningham is confirmed. And uh, let's see here. And I'm drawing a blank on some of these other names. I think Lisa Bibby has said in the chat that she would do it. But I need an email. Need, right now we're waiting for pictures from these ladies. And really that'll be the, the time when we're really confirmed because we'll actually have pictures. Um, and uh, let's see here. I'm drawing a blank on some of the others, but anyways, a good crowd. We got a we got a good uh, six or seven signed up for it. All right. Um, junk finger Jimmy, crash. I'm buying more. There you go. That's what he'll do. And Phil Robertson says, I've been a buyer since the 80s. Let it dip. I will buy every ounce that I can justify purchasing. My average will be strong still. Yes, indeed. There you go. Dollar cost average is the way to do smart, smart dollar cost averaging. Oh, and also Silver Stacking Mama is in the calendar as well. Silver Stacking Mama. Good to see Doctor Who. Native Stacker, I will be in the calendar. Oh, man. I'll be in the cow. You have to get, I don't know. Gas Grill, good to see you. Silver Loving Lou, welcome. Welcome indeed. <clears throat> Robert Jackson says, By the dip, I'm only six months in. 
on a very, very low budget, and I'm up to 89 ounces of silver and 29 grams of gold. Yes, indeed. Oops, dang it. It's wrong. Something's in my mouth. Better from getting where it needs to go here. Come on. <clears throat> Say, would dress and drag. <laughs> no, I will not dress and drag unless if I was to dress and drag a silver holic, that would mean I would be dressed as a racetrack, like a drag racetrack, and be drag racing. That would be a way to do it. Yes, indeed. All right. Or something, I don't know, that would pull something along on the ground, dragging it. Ministry of Metal, Celibate City doesn't have time to go through all the sales gal contestants, so he put me in charge. Let me know the gals were interested to have picks for the count. There you go. I just couldn't remember all the names. But I think that's uh, pretty much most of the names in the calendar. My cat will do the calendar. Yes, indeed. Well, maybe we should have done the cat calendar. I don't know. All right. Mm. Ah, very good. That's going to be pretty cool once we get it done. Hello, Numismatic Stacker is here. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well. All right, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Chapton Master Video says, and in Todd Horowitz's article, he mentions to sell silver. I thought Basil III was going to be sorted all this out. What fools are to believe, and they'll stop these shenanigans. Oh, well, keep on stacking. That's right. And in the end, that's what it boils down to. Stack and hold on, and we'll see. That's right. Sal is not transitory. Yes, indeed. Patrick Pearl, what's everyone paying for silver above spot? My LCS is charging $45 for, wow, that's pretty darn high. That's crazy high. All right, all right, very good. Who else is here? Good evening, Talking Bullion. Over 100 more watching than likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Talking Bullion. He posted a great video on a Geiger bar. Check it out. Yes, indeed. All right, and good to see Hoosier Stacker is here. He says, hello, Stackers. Hello, Hoosier. Welcome. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right. Take care, everybody. Take care, Bill457. Thank you for being here, guys. All right, let's take a look at the markets. What are they telling us here now, everybody? Um, they are. Gold is down 80 cents, 1781.70. Uh, silver is down 3 cents. So they've been relatively steady, steadily just kind of stand just a little bit under the radar, really. But yes, indeed. And but that so it looks like that the Asian markets are not very phased by these new rules, and as I predicted, pretty much because they're kind of just baked in already, right? Um, so and palladium, maybe palladium is only the metal that's that's affected by this. All right, Federal two ounce rounds for ninety bucks. Wow, that's crazy. That's forty five dollars an ounce, man. Hell Creek Trading is here. Good to see you, Hell Creek Trading and B.R. Williams. Welcome, guys. All right. All right. Now, uh, um, I'm, since we have a good amount of people in here in this live stream now, um, I'm going to put up a little poll. And uh, I want to see what you guys think about this. And let's see what we'll, we'll see how we'll this. Let's see what you guys think about this. Um So let's put this little poll out here and let's see, you know, we're looking at the, we're looking at the Basel three from the eve of the implementation of these new rules. Uh, but as things move, uh, we're going to have to find out what's going to happen within the next three months. So I'm going to put a poll here and let's see what you guys think about the Basel three and what effect that it may have as the, um, U.S. banks will be required to meet the, those standards here coming up in in, in, uh, in the, the first part of July here. Um, you know, what's happening is there's new liquidity requirements that is known as the net stable funding ratio. And those requirements essentially um, make unallocated gold more expensive to hold. Um, they have to set aside more funds for that. And so these regulations will be introduced, phased in first tomorrow for the European Union. 
on July 1 in the United States and in the UK where the LBMA is on the 1st of January 2022. So let's see here. Good to see you guys. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Brian is right. Brian Hem uh, uh, Butcher Balker, good to see you, sir. They need to abide by it uh, by the beginning of January. And the thing is, is they may put that off. That's the thing. That it may be put off. We'll, we'll find out. We'll see uh, what happens there. But yes, indeed. Thank you guys for participating in that poll. Have a little bit of fun here with some polling as well. Uh, so thank you guys for voting in that poll. Uh, so far, a lot of you, over 55% of you, say that it will. I'm of the feeling that it really won't. Because um, even if they, those, those are, dates are meant, they've had months and months and months, and maybe even years. Well, they've had years to prepare for this. So my guess is that they probably have been preparing to some extent. So we'll see here. And so there's where they are. Let's get to a couple more comments. We'll keep the poll open for a while to see what you guys think. Silver Steeler says... What is the new overall um, price tag here for infrastructure in the green package total? Uh, 7.2 trillion. Once passed this, and it will, the price will rise again. I'll wait for this drop. Should happen and chase it while it's low. I haven't bought a ton since this whole silver squeeze anyways. I'll keep my cost average very low this way. That's true. All right. Ziggy, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Very, very kind of you. Thank you for that super chat. Appreciate it. Lewis Banks will allocate more gold plated tungsten. There you go. Yes, indeed. That's right. That's pretty funny. Oh, my goodness gracious. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. He scared me with this thing. Uh, who? He said there's a fake account of mine selling silver. I'm very curious about that. If he could email me a link to that, I want to find out so I can report that account. He said there's somebody selling, selling very expensive fake silver or a very expensive silver under my name. I want to know who that is. All right. Very good. Um, so anyway, it's very good. All right. Yeah, the government's going to keep on um, uh, pushing for more money to be spent, more money creation. It's going to be crazy. And who knows? I still think they might try it in the platinum angle, like I've talked about in a previous video, where they'll take literally a platinum coin and pay off the national debt with a platinum coin. Yes, indeed. That very well could happen. There is the threat of that. Uh, Mike Lee from Utah um, actually tried to put a hamper on that with some legislation. I may do a video on that. I'll talk a little bit about it. I think we get it very good. All right, very good. All right, and we have DM Development. He is saying on this video that um, silver stackers should not care about short-term expectations. If prices crash, then buy more and wait. The, uh, the silver stacking strategy is a long-term strategy. We're not talking about the cryptocurrencies market. We all bought silver for a very good reason, and that is still true today. That's right. That does not change. That's exactly right. Might be Alan Gold. Very good. Put B, Silverholic. We'll blame him anyway. That's right. All right. Very good. Hello, Junk Finger Jimmy. Welcome. Glad you're here. That's right. Gold Chick is right. Rhodium is used to electroplate silverware so it does not tarnish. That's right. Exactly. That's right. All right. Yes, indeed. Possible uh, $100,000 per ounce silver. Wow, that's crazy. That's just crazy talk, Patrick Pearl. Crazy talk. I think he's been known to do that from what I understand. It's nuts. A 10 kilo rhodium coin. Now, that'd be cool. All right, there you go. Oh, man. Alan Gold is here. He reported the poll. Son of a motherless goat. I can't believe that Alan Gold came here to try to ruin my evening. My it's goodness gracious. I've just been triggered by Alan Gold's, you know, Trolliness. I don't understand. I, you know, it's just making me upset. Alan loves to pull. That's right, exactly. Crash equals on sale. That's right, Rick Erie. That's right, exactly right. Uh, Patty Cakes, double O seven seven. Next video, Silver to the Moon. That's right. No, no, that's not. I don't do that. Um, but the thing is, is uh, that I disagree with the article. By the way, there you go. There he slurp. I right, slurp for. 
We're in trouble, Alan Gold is back. That's right, baby. And Dove Season Slurp in your honor. Three slurps. Here we go. Three slurps and Troy. And, and tr three slurps ahoy. <sighs> ah, we got it. All right. Very good. Nice. $15 spot and 55 premium. Bye, 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 baby. Bye, bye, bye. It says Karis Ravenhill. All right. Good to see Karis. Okay, let me get this somehow. My there's something in my mouse, and it's, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a piece of cheese for my mouse. Sailing the sea of cheese, you never know. And let's do a couple more comments, and then we will check out the markets, see what the prices are doing here. So, Daryl. Says, we sometimes lose sight of the true value of gold and silver. The Areto preserve our wealth and not to get wealthy like stocks. 90% silver quarter today will still allow you to convert it to purchase a gallon of gas today like a quarter would have purchased gas back in the day. Silver and gold will outlast all fiat. fiat. Um, get it while you can because when the music stops in this game of musical chairs, they are paying with our lives and our children's and grandchildren's future stops. where they are, They're eroding our wealth with fiat dollars um and that's a sad reality of it so precious metals are the are the key that's what you do to hold on all right very good yes the primus there you go my bad you got it you got the reference there a uh, little primus when it was big be right now i gotta do this i, I can't help it <clears throat> let's see here i'm not nearly as good as old Les, but let's see if we can do it here let's see if we can make this happen here ah let's see here Too many puppies sailing the sea of cheese. Too many puppies. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Had a little, little fun here. A little something. I'm sure all of you would agree with me that Primus sucks. That's right. All right. Very good. My known as Big Beaver. Tommy the Cat's got a really cool bass breakdown in it. That's incredible. All right, there you go. All right, moving up here. Repo Madness says, Every night before I pray, then it crashes someday, my dreams will come true. Yes, indeed. We want your dreams to come true. C172 Pilot Dude is here. Good to see you. Love you guys, too. You're great. All right. So let's take a look at the markets. What are they doing? Is this is what it's about? All right, guys. There's been a turn for the positivity for gold. It is up 70 cents. Oh, man. It's going skyrocket high now. Look at that. The Basel Three is making him nervous there in Hong Kong. No, I'm kidding. It's kind of just laying there flat. Not a whole lot of activity, but it is up. And even silver is up. It is up just slightly. Yeah, it sounds like a fart, I know. Sorry, Fabian. When I played the bass, it sounded like a fart. All right, there you go. Talk metals and play guitar. There you go, Bill. And done, done driving and takes exactly that long to drive home from my brother's place. Okay, nice. Well, very good. Well, we, we were here all through the time while you were driving. Thanks, my friend. Silver Drill Pickle is back. Yeah, sorry about that. I think I slapped the bass too hard. It sounded like a fart. Oh, my goodness gracious. We don't like that. Thank you, guys. All right. Uh, so let's get back to the comments. But they, they're both metals are up. Um, uh, and they started out a little bit low. And we'll look at the... We're minutes away from checking the charts to see how they've been tracking there visually. Stephen Osborne um, says, hopefully it does. He's saying here. Uh, more opportunities to buy, buy, and buy. Last March 6, 2020 to be exact. He paid eight thousand eighty-six uh, for the amount of four hundred twenty ounces. Today, it's almost double that price. I love price drops, so I can pick up more. There, that's a good. Wow! So you did a good. You timed that exactly right uh, for that dip that we saw, Stephen. It's crazy. All right, very good. All right, Silver Surfer. All right, saw Leprechaun. I'm still very curious about that fake uh, account selling that silver. If you could email me. Silver Surfer, that information would be great. I'd like to see who's selling silver under my name. 
All right, let's see here. Good to see Nibo. Nibodi, a one up nut. Uh, yes, too many puppies, too many dead men. That's right. Nibobi, good to see you. Thank you, sir. And uh, let's see here. Sorry if I'm missing some of you guys. There's a lot of people here, so I'm, I'm missing. I'm going to come back here and see if I can see what some of you are they're saying. Hello, Silver Oceans. Good to see you. I am here just listening. Thank you, my friend. Silver Oceans, check out his channel. Good guy. It's been a little while. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you for popping in, sir. A uh, little birdie that has been in my business for 50 years tells me that there will be a near future a major demand increase for silver for medicinal uses. Really? That is interesting, Junk Finger Jimmy. Very interesting. Wow. If you know any other information about it or can have, have any documentation to substantiate that, could you email that to me? Because I would love to do a video on that. Um, of course, if there's some secrets behind it, then I don't want to... I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to break any confidentiality agreements that you have with him. But I, I'm very curious about that. That is fascinating. All right, let's see here. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Uh, can't wait to get more constitutional silver. Says John Snow. All right. Well, John Snow, you know nothing, John Snow. No, I'm kidding. That's a line from a movie or from a, a show called um, Game of Thrones. You might. That's maybe how you got your name. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. All right, Shan's taking off. All right, Shan, have a good night. Somebody said you got to go. Have a good evening. Thank you, Shan, for being here. You are awesome. And the Brian's got to go, too. Not a Genesis reference. It's all good. All right, thank you, Brian. Have a good evening, Brian. Thanks for popping on, sir. All right. Very, very good. All right. Thank you, thank you. Good night. Okay. C. Helwig says the powers to be would love for silver to drop to sell the rumor and see how many people would dump their silver so they could snatch it up. That's right. I tell you, it's not what I would be doing. I'm a buy and hold kind of guy. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, uh, silver, colloidal silver cures and awards. I had no idea. Pretty interesting. All right. Thank you, guys, for the like button smashes. If we can get 200 thumbs up on this live stream, that would be great. 200 thumbs up would be cool. It's 114 degrees in Hollywood, California, says Jose Benito. Wow. Man. Crazy, crazy. All right. Will Sal buy a new monitor if I hit the thumbs up with a ball peen hammer? I might have to. I might, might have to. Excessive liquidity in the banking system is going to spiral out of control. Oh, man. We shall see. I don't know. It very well could if they're not careful with it. I think that's part of what the Bank of International Settlements is trying to prevent, uh, but we shall see. Hopefully this will get Love Button to show up. Uh, the silver dealers will continue to make money on the downside when some people freak out and want to sell. They will sell their silver for spot and lose a bundle. Everyone should go watch a recent video by Northern Coins about selling silver back and what to expect. That's right, Love Button. That's exactly right. Very true. Ah. Very good. And uh, let's see. Hold. Don't sell your metals now. That's right, Mark uh, Bernard. Don't sell your metals now. Okay. So, yeah, we have a poll here for those interested. Um, uh, I'm curious to see what your thoughts are over the next three months, which is before the London markets have to, um, the London banks have to comply with the Basel III regulations. Um, see what you guys think about that. Fill out that poll. Shane Wil Weimer. Greetings, Sal. I've been buying it up. SD had 10-ounce pant bars. I'll grab one. Congratulations. Wow. Oh, is that a, a stamped bar? Those are, it'd be cool to have one of those. That's awesome. Hope it was a good deal. 64 degrees in Alaska. So Kristen is from Alaska. Very cool. Nice. All right. Man, I can't imagine what winters would be like there. Where are you in? Are you in um, Anchorage uh, or Juneau? Or um, Fairbanks, maybe. Those are, the I guess, the most populated areas in, in Alaska. D.C., you're absolutely right. It will crash as it is worthless. So D.C. doesn't think that silver holds any value. Okay. Living Newton-John is on it. That's right. Let's get physical. Let me hear your silver talk. Or here. Yeah, here's here's how my silver talks. Let's see if we get it. All right, very stamped. Okay, very cool. Thank you. 63 degrees in Ministry of Metals bedroom. He likes to keep it cool. Oh, she's in Houston. Okay, Houston, Texas. All right, she was just giving us a weather report from up there. 
pretty hot and muggy down in Houston, I'm sure. Ace is up. Silver is here. Good to see you. Okay. Just a seeker. They will reset to digital currency and then hack into it and take most of our wealth. That will help compete the res complete the reset game over for the little guys. I'll tell you what. When they when they set the standards and um, the blockchain, it can be very easy for them to confiscate your wealth. Much harder for them to confiscate physical metals for sure. Um, and by the way, when they essentially when they print all this money and devalue our currency. You know, you think about it. When you have one of these dollar bills where it literally is worth maybe 92 cents today compared to what it was just two years ago, uh, that's essentially them stealing, confiscating your wealth. That's a way for them to confiscate your wealth. When, they, when the price of silver drops, they've not confiscated your metal. The, the price has dropped. But the value remains intact. Value is something that I believe is measured through a long course of time. Price is something that fluctuates daily um, or monthly or weekly. Um, but the longer you hold something, its value uh, it starts to realize itself. Whether it be an iPhone 10 or 7, uh, which is not worth a whole lot, its value is a lot less these days than it was when it was first uh, released. But anyways, everybody. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Shane Weimer. He says, have a cup of coffee on me. Cheers to you, sir. I'm going to slurp in your honor for that. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Very good. Let's move ahead here. We've got Bill Dell saying, analysis are like pollsters. Wrong most of the time. If there's a crash, I will still keep my stack. No hurry to sell. I'm in it. For a store of value. That's right. And I do a little analysis on my own on the prices of precious metals. But you know what? Uh, like like uh, like most pollsters and analysis, uh, I'm wrong too. But you know what? Whenever I do analysis, I always end by telling people that the fundamentals have not changed no matter what I or anybody else thinks. Because I could be wrong. I don't hang my hat on my predictions. Um, I do like to think that uh, when I give a prediction, it's based off of some modicum of education and uh, insight to the markets, but really it's not that much insight compared to other people out there. Um, and I try to be very uh, even-handed and um, cautious in my predictions. And I'm, with that being said, I'm still somewhat bullish for gold and silver this year. But I could be wrong, but it's okay if I'm wrong. It's 70 degrees where Hoosier Stacker is at. Very cool. Welcome. Good to see you guys. A good crowd here tonight. Uh, and if you guys are would be so kind to get me give uh, to press that thumbs up button gently to get us up to 200 thumbs up, that would be great. I appreciate it, guys. Brian, hello, and love button is here. And don't you can press the like button, but you you can also press the love button. She's in here too. At least I think she's a she. All right. Alan Gold was in here in here, but only said one thing. Yeah, I must have just made him mad, and he left. What a big old baby Alan Gold was and still is. He still is a big baby. He's a big crybaby. Wah, 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 Alan Gold. If you're still in here, Alan Gold, you, that's right. I just called you out, you big old crybaby. All right, Dove Season, come on, Sal. You were wrong once back in 1987. Does it really count anymore? Uh, but it still weighs heavily on me, Dove Season. Oh, my goodness gracious, it weighs heavily on me. Oh, my gosh. Sal, if silver price for physical... Um, ever increases uh, I am going I'm never going to sell for future fiat but will use it for value increase in future bartering yeah understandable but you know the thing is is we have to come to um, the realization of the possibility that silver may never be used to barter um, in fact let's hope it doesn't come to that because that will occur and Gary Hughes the reason why I say that is I want to uh, point you towards a series of videos that I did in a playlist on my channel called Silver and SHTF. And, uh, and, and you watch those three videos and you understand what I'm talking about. And that is the only way that I think we could see silver being used for barter. And it's going to take a while. Um, uh, but now that's not to say that silver can't be used as barter now. People trade silver and precious metals for goods and services all the time. 
In fact, whenever we buy silver from a bullion dealer or anybody else, well, we're essentially bartering with it, right? Silver Turtle, 65 this year. Well, bartering, I guess, is some sort of like a, an agreement where you, you barter, you know, you, 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 you push them down on the price or what have you. You negotiate. I guess that's what bartering is, right? Um, to some degree, but I guess in, in some way that does happen. But good to see Silver Turtle 65. He did a great video. Check out Silver Turtle 65's channel. He did an awesome video of a coin that just touched my heart because it has sentimental value to him and it has special meaning. So you want to check that out to know what I'm talking about. Uh, it is a really cool piece that he got a collector coin uh, that he posted a couple of days ago, I think. Douglas Mann, how long before some billionaire um, whale attempts to corner the market? If we only have 3.5 billion ounces of bullion, can't one of these super rich folks buy it up? It's a lot more complex markets now than it was back when the Hunt brothers tried to do it. Uh, much more difficult to do because it's not only about um, somebody's wealth putting down. Because the silver market is a very tiny market compared to other markets out there. Um, but... No one billionaire, no matter how much money, could they ever just go buy it all up. It's so much more uh, spread out and diversified and used nowadays um, than ever before. I don't think they could do it. I don't think they've, they, they, there's any logistical way for that to happen in this day and age. The markets are way too complex. Uh, that's my view on it. But it'd be interesting to see someone try. It sure would. It'd be very interesting to see someone try that. All right, let's see here. Come on, the stupid thing's frozen up on me again. Where are we at? Let's get here. I've been missing stuff. Good evening. Sterling Cannabis is here. Just got home from work. Good to see Sterling Cannabis. Welcome, welcome. Uh, John Sparks says, in reality, silver has been used for barter for 5,000 years. Yes, indeed. There's only been a brief amount of time where it's really been stopped being used as currency. That's true. Since, what, the late 60s for most nations, that's a drop in the bucket compared to 5,000 years. Uh, indeed. All right. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, thank you, Douglas. That was a great question, indeed. And uh, let's see here. Let's get a couple more comments and we will check out the markets and see what the markets are telling us here. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. We've got 221 now. Very nice. Uh, so Bay Creek History Detective says, Paper silver. Bullion dealers are not offering any major discounts thus far. Also, the author should clarify that silver will crash in U.S. dollar terms. A debt liquidity bubble bursting would lead to a run to the USD temporarily. That's right, just like it did last year. US dollar up, silver down in US dollar terms. In euros and Canadian dollars, silver might hold steady or rally, for example. That's actually a very good point. Very true, very good point. All right, very good, all right. All right, very good. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Uh, in Venezuela, a cigarette can buy you a tank of fuel. Wow, all right. Very good. And thank you guys. Let's see here. Now we've got um, a silversmith is back from a successful skinny dip and hit some silver bars on the bottom of the pool ball. Nicely done. It's a pretty clever place to go to hide. All right. A very, very clever place. And uh, let's see here. Let's move on this here. Get rid of that. And make this happen. Make that happen. Do this. Put that in here. Click that there. Start this here. And Tactical Trucker. Why are the poor bars so popular in silver in the silver community versus the minted bars? In the gold community, when it comes to poor bars versus minted bars, the more popular because they fetch a higher price, but it's not the same with silver. Um, I think there is this love for poured silver in the community because a lot in the community actually pour their own silver. And they do a really good job of it. So it's an amazing talent in the poured silver community. And uh, 
but there are higher premiums to them normally. And but yeah, it's a uh, it can be, but there is a love of it, and I think a lot of it is it has this really cool feel to it. It's very easy to get these really cool effects with it, and I think that's something unique to silver as opposed to gold. Um, I've got a couple of cast bars, and they're pretty neat, but yes, indeed. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Silver Surfer, are you going to send me an email um, about that fake account? Send me a link to it, because I'll have to see it to report it. I want to get an answer back on it. If you can respond by typing my name out <clears throat> with no space, I'll see it, because I'm very interested in that to see what this is about somebody selling silver using my name apparently anyways and they're charging a very high price for it apparently hello crystal kim is here good to see crystal kim let's see what the markets are doing the markets are reacting um so far now gold is up by 70 cents and silver is down two cents in all intents and purposes it's a pretty much a normal reaction we're seeing not necessarily based off of anything due to Basel III. But hey, just in case. Kind of as I predicted. I didn't think there'd be a whole lot of movement here. I do have a pole up here. Yeah, it's too expensive to pour gold bars. It sure is. It's very expensive to do that. Um, so you guys in the poll, out of 184 votes, 58% of you think that within the next three months, the Basel III regulations will cause gold and silver to rise. And I think that's a possibility. I don't think they will, but I think I could see that happening. I could see as we get closer to January, and then once we see the effects of what's happening for the European banks and then the U.S. banks in a few days, uh, then we very well may see uh, gold and silver react to that. So 58% of you say yes, 42% say no. So let's see here. All right. Let's move back to the comments. We'll come back to those. Cash is king. It really is. It still is king for now. In spite of it losing value, it still is king. Uh, Freedom Stacker, at max sell expensive sale rounds. Um, well, believe it or not, compared to other silver out there, those were priced relatively fairly. Um, but they're, but they're, they're not uh, on sale there now. They're sold out right now. Uh, all right, very good. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys for watching and for the thumbs up. Okay, let's see here. Eli says, saving my dirty fiat to buy silver freshness. I've, I still feel as well 30 spot by the end of the year. All right, there you go. And I'm with you. I think that we'll see it touch $30 at least by the end of the year. Maybe $35, but I kind of doubt $35 at this point. I'm leaning more towards $30. Brendan Martin says, Silver crashes to 15, premiums up 20% because every man and his dog would be scrambling for it. That's right, Brandon. Or Brendan, I think you're exactly right. Brendan, I, I do agree with you. I think it's gonna they're scrambling for it for sure. Uh, Belang P is here. Hello, Belang. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're doing well. I think you posted a video recently and you need to check it out. Uh, but yes, indeed, welcome, sir. We're doing a Basel III market watch here. And it's pretty much doing as I predicted, nothing. <laughs> There's not, not much activity happening because uh, of what's going to be occurring tomorrow uh, with the European banks um, being required to uh, fund their unallocated gold. So we'll see here indeed. But good to see you, sir. All right. Very, very good. Glad you're all here. And Disco74 is still with us. Okay. Good crowd here tonight. So not a lot of activity with the metals um, here at the beginning, which I didn't think there would be. But who knows, within the next three months, there very well could be. So if you get a chance to fill out that poll, I'd be curious to see what you think. All right. And uh, we have another comment here. Let's see. From Athencol36, music blows as always. So he doesn't like the uh, the intro to my music. Oh, well, I'm sorry you don't like it. You think it blows. But keep in mind, if silver went down to $9 an ounce, it would be $35 an ounce over spot. 
the games and the controller obviously not being played anymore by the silver market because uh, the people who are doing this are complete criminals and it's paper it's fraud it's not physical it's a video game all right um well that's um if you believe um there's manipulation in general like any commodity then yes if you believe there's price suppression i'd love to see the evidence i've not seen a single shred of evidence that there is price suppression of gold and silver not one iota of it it's all circumstantial evidence and it all really goes back to closest anything can, money can find that there is price suppression is the commitment of trader reports, which is intentionally vague due to the privacy between the seven or eight institutions that are involved in it. But nonetheless, um, to me, and again, my feeling on price suppression is, is it would be foolish to suppress the price to so that people wouldn't be, quote, interested in it. Because anybody who knows anything about history and silver um, uh, would, uh, would be... Um, uh, would realize, hey, this is an opportunity. Thank you, the cabal of big banks. We're going to just, uh, we're going to go ahead and just um, uh, snatch all that silver up. And that's what they're doing anyway. So it's backfiring on them. And as to the music intro, per Hooser Stacker's request, How's that for just raw, guttural nastiness? So, uh, I thank Gold36. I hope you hear that music that blows too. Because that was a pretty crappy little bass thing, but hey, I don't have it plugged in. It probably would sound better than an amp, but hey, I digress. All right, Brian is sending a bunch of kisses and hearts. I hope they're not to me. I'll just shake your hand, Brian. Is that okay? I'll be happy, but maybe you're sending it to Crystal Kim or somebody else. But then I'd be jealous because... You know, but anyways, uh, those are not drums. That's actually a bass. I was slapping the, slapping the bass. Yes, indeed. I need an amp. Son of a mother's goat. All right. Play that funky music. White boy. And I am too white. I need a tan. All right. Uh, give me some master puppets. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know. I only know just one part of it. That's that's a down-picking nightmare, Blanky. That's a... Uh, that's something I really should get an amp for too, but uh, um, anyways, all right, and here's my G string, here's my G string, guys. Little hanger eighteen. Oh man. I don't know it, man. I'm just I don't know. I wish I knew hanger eighteen. That would be cool to do something. ECP is here. Hello, ECP. Welcome. Alright, bang of you. Thank you, Blaine P. I didn't really do no <laughs> good on it, but thank you, sir. put that down just got a mandolin and electric guitar nice brian very cool gotta love the g-string it's a g-string baby all right instead of a g thing cleocatra good to see you cleocatra gotta have a little fun here a radio see them i hope it crashes late to the game here by when there's blood in the streets even if it's your own <laughs> there you go i love it that's great that's very good all right, there you go. Listen while you're driving home tonight. Thank you, Gas Grill. Who knows? You guys stick around. I might plug in the amp tonight. All right, we'll see. I'm feeling a little frisky here. I might whip it out. Uh, the amp, that is. Um, uh, but hang in there. We'll see. We'll see. We might just fiddle around with this thing. Uh, have a little fun. we got to let loose a little bit. So as we celebrate these markets, 
even though they're not doing a whole lot here. They're just kind of just hanging out here. Uh, 30 cents up for gold, 3 cents down for silver, widening that ratio to 68.35. Gold up 0.02%, silver down just over a tenth percent, platinum down a buck, palladium holding steady at $6. Let's take a look at the charts here. We're past due for it, way past due. Look at that. The charts for gold tell the tail of the tape. We're looking at bid prices now, folks. You can see that it took a little dip, then it sprung up a little bit. Now it's kind of holding steady here just ever so slightly. There's your gold chart. Uncle Sal plant Uncle Ted. That's right, Dove Season. Yes, indeed. <laughs> that's a good one. All right. Uh, that's right. And not my small pole. That's right, Hoosier. That's right. We're going to whip the amp. So let's take a look at silvers. Silver's price, look at that. It's just kind of a tuttering along here, sputtering along, silver is. Slightly down, then try to get up, and then it went back down again. You got to get up and get down again. That's right. Get on up and get on down. Hmm. Clint A, I'm going to be pushing up Daisy before the metals uh, rocket. Just my luck. Oh, I hope not, man. I hope you see some action. Yes, indeed. And you, we need you around for a long time. Long time. Good to see Andy Benjamin here. Rocky Superstars here. Basil 3 isn't the end of the fight. It's what gives us the underdog some teeth in the fight. Yes, that's right. Nothing on the Basil 3 news. Nothing there yet. Uh, indeed. <laughs> it's still Gay Pride Month, Alan. That's good. Yes, Alan Gold, is it? We want to know. A multitude of fertitude. That's right, Bob Sullivan. That's right. Uh... You probably have seen that round, right? Do you remember that round, that, that silver round, the Fertitude round? Might even have one around here someplace, somewhere around here. In this mess, in this pile of garbage. Not, not garbage. Not junk. Can't find it now, but anyways, yes indeed. You remember that round, the Fertitude round? Probably what he's referring to. There's, there's where the markets are. Let's get a couple more of these comments. See what people are saying. Kenneth Harvey wasn't able to buy in this last dip. Hopefully, I'll be able to in the next. All right. I hope you can. It's always good to have a little bit of that, uh, money uh, uh, set aside for it, just in case there's a little bit of a dip. Red Crawler. Crash up the silver and gold just at the stock market soon. P.S. I dropped a nuke on the thumbs up button. Thank you, Red Crawler. Appreciate that. And... Time to dream. The currency will always flow and the interest rate will never rise. Unsustainable amount of debt during the current financial landscape. It appears to me purchasing metals at any price is a smart decision. Uh, I would shop around, though. Find the best deals out there you can and always stay within your budget. Yes, indeed. All right, that's right. Exactly who's your stack or not. That there's anything wrong with that, as Jerry would say. Whatever that fine $17 silver would be nice, says uh, Gastoric Muncher. Silver Damsel, she's a sales gal calendar girl, says, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say the silver might just stay in the range of $30, $25 for the next two years. It very well could. It very well could. All right. Bill Dell, Basel 3 will be interesting, but not looking forward to Basel 4. What are they up to? I know there's been some talk about Basel 4. Who knows? That could be where it goes in another direction. All right, very good. Minnesota Joe was ready to buy more dips. Very cool. Thank you, Stack and Gorilla. Appreciate you being here, Stack and Gorilla. Good to see all you folks here tonight. Richard Metcalf, if it goes low, buy more, he says. All right. I'm going to go through some of these comments relatively quickly here. Any tamp down of price, silver price, will be temporary, in my opinion. It'll be transitory, right? Physical demand is increasing and supply is decreasing. If paper prices do get tampered down... Uh, it will be a great opportunity to get physical. Let's get physical. Let me hear your silver talk. Your silver talk. Let me hear that silver talk. Oh, yeah. It's time to get animal. And to use some of the new emojis that we've got in here. Yes, indeed. The new emojis. Hey, Sal, bought in the dip. LCS Eagles and Grease. 20 Pinnix. Nice. All right. What's the best way to buy physical? I think low premium silver. If you can find it, probably constitutional silver, for sure. That's right. Okay, oh, uh, okay, Belang P says that the it's, it's been a slow phase-in for the Basil 3. They've been doing the Basil 3 stuff for months, even years. Um, and it won't, only won't be fully implemented until 2028. So, But they may be already be talking about Basil 4. But thank you uh, for that information, Belang P. 
All right, very good. <clears throat> ah. That's right. Slow, steady, and in budget. That's right, Hoosier Stacker. Exactly right. Very good. Edward Sutrink. Well, when the dealers were saying it was going to ton it, and then $600. Scammers, yeah. Well, when everybody makes a wild prediction like that, be careful. Pies and stocks and scratch-offs. Let silver slide in price so we can stack more and then sell it when it goes to $100 an ounce. Well, I'd be very careful about expecting it to go to $100 an ounce anytime, new, anytime soon. The new silver kitty has been consulted, and silver shall lay flat with an occasional rise. There you go, Cleopatra. Love it. That's great. That's exactly right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> Am I going to do that? And let's see here. Freedom will ring. I like that a username. Yeah, it may crash on paper. But if it did, you can be sure that probably both silver and gold will be unavailable at most dealers. Or they will, uh, won't have any they're willing to part with. The premium markup will bring your price up. Where previously, so don't count your chickens. And that's exactly what happened last year. It'll happen again. All right, Native Stacker, have a good evening, my friend. Have a good evening, Native. Did someone mention a beaver? There you go, love button. She's got the beaver. All right, very good. Beaver shot. Yes, that's right. There you go. Heard about that in Winona's big, great big beaver. That's right, Belang P from Primus. Good Primus song, indeed. All right. And uh, let's see here. So moving on here. A Chris in SoCal says, as all stackers would say, if price goes down, I'll buy more. There you go. You just don't want to break the bank to do so. That's the only thing I would caution against. Stay within budget no matter what. Price predictions have been absurd lately and pretty much uh, numb to it. Yes, I know exactly, Ben Barker. I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm with you. D. Peterson is here. Good to see you. So, yes, great comment. Chris and SoCal. All right. And, hey, here's a here's a one from an older video. Uh, the world's thickest silver metal that I did a video on quite some time ago here. Uh, from the Germanium Mint. That was a... If you get a chance to check out that video, this thing is a wild piece of silver. That thing is a monster. It's more like a cylinder than anything. AB got six angels from JMB and six on every facet was ratty and looked like shark mouth from 007 tried to eat it. They at first said they uh, no to the return, then trying to say they were regular. Then they changed their mind for whatever reason. They were worse shaped than the two Mexican libs I picked up the other day from 84. They tried to punk me, then through a tube, and I guess to ease my gaping hole. If I could post pics. Interesting. All right. Yeah. I don't know what the angels are talking about, but anyways. Sorry you got a bad uh, a bad um, uh, experience there. Hopefully they make it right for you. Sure. All right. Very, very good. I'm going to finish out this coffee here soon. Ah. Uh, uh, glute, glutamate sulfate says we have to wait at least a year before we see any movement in prices. Glutamate sulfate, I think that's how you say that. All countries need to, to abide before we see any changes. Okay. Yes, indeed. So, um, and so when that happens in 2022 for these sets of NSFRs, uh, and the, actually the Basel uh, rules won't fully be in effect till 2028, then it may be quite a long time for waiting for those. Good to see Multi Gun Man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where does everybody think it will be three months from now? Lower same. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I think they. I think we'll see them go higher to a degree. Whether or not Basel has anything to do with it, I'm not sure. But we do have a poll up, and uh, most of you have been voting in this poll now. 60% of you say yes. All right. So, so far, there's not a whole lot of activity around Basel. The prices are actually down again for all the metals here. Slightly for gold. Silver down three cents. 
um, as well. Platinum down a dollar. So not a lot of activity. Uh, Silversmith heard JP Morgan got rid of some silver. First time I heard that in a public domain. Silver shortage. I don't know. I've not heard that. It's interesting. Gold Chick says silver will be 4000 tomorrow. Says YouTube. All right. Crazy, crazy. All right. Kurt Holderson. I remember the last crash down to $11 last year. Couldn't find any silver to buy. <whistles> yep, it was tough. <clears throat> Look what JP Morgan is doing, stockpiling cash, gold, and silver. I'm not for the big banks. The CEO, very wise, is what is going on. Well, now they're saying that they sold some of their silver, so I don't know. Put my poll away. That's right. All right, let's see here. Lisa Bibby says, if silver does crash, I'll be buying more than it was already going to. There you go. That's right. Uh, now, William Fender says, uh, in, this, in this comment here, if it does crash, it's because the banks need to leverage all the paper contracts that they have issued. That's fine for me because it will backfire on them. We're all onto their game, and I'm more than willing to take advantage of their stupidity. Warren Buffett himself said, be greedy when people are scared, and be scared when people are greedy. I'm fixing to be more greedy. That's right, exactly. You're going to notice that silver is up every day late when the market open. Wait a second. That, uh, um, open, but then drops at the market close. Overall higher, though. Um, yeah, I don't really watch that closely to see because some people have heard that before every day and silver's up every day at the market open the drops by the market close overall higher though yeah and i don't know i think that could just be um i don't know i think that just could be i don't know you see that happen from time to time but i don't know there, there but there may be happening the other way too the opposite end as well but i don't know And which market are we talking about? Are we talking about the Asian markets? Or are we talking about the London markets? Or the New York markets? Um, let's see here. Brumel. He's saying that silver will not crash. A dip of two or three US is not a crash. Um, and us U.S. citizens, U.S. dollar was a world big currency. U.S. dollar is history. Juan is a new king because the Chinese are the new big player in the world economy. Greece and Germany. Well, they're, they're rising for sure. They're the second largest economy. But the Juan doesn't have near the strength and is not widely dispersed as much as the dollar is. Um, but yeah, you're right. If the dip or two or three U.S. is not really a crash, unless it happens every day for the next four or five days, that would probably be considered a crash. All right. And the word crash is really probably very subjective term in its definition, is what I would say. All right, we just finished our coffee. Now I'm going to put some water in here. And slurp on that a little bit. Got to have a little liquid hydration while we're here. Good to see Gold Maple. Zephiel is here. Now let's take a look at the markets again. What are they doing, folks? They are in. Now they're, uh, oh, no, that's... No, yeah, now they're up. So it has been a little bit of a back and forth. It's been a push and pull in the markets here. Tonight, down slightly, up slightly. Now they're both up a little bit. Gold is literally up 50 cents, up 0.03% now. Silver is up 1 cent, up 0.04%. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, and Marsha has been stacking for three years. Her brothers got her into it. Well, very good. Smart brothers. All right. All right, another day. Got to run cabbage casseroles done. Thanks for popping in another, another day. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Very, very good. 
So that's where that is. All right, guys. All right. Um, all right, guys. So that's where the markets are. We're going to keep watching these markets a little bit here. But in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can uh, do a little bit of arrangement here. If I can find a cord through this amp. I might plug in the old amp, you know, a little bit here as we're kind of nearing the end of this live stream. So we'll have a little bit of fun. <clears throat> I have a little bit of fun here. Let's see here. Let's plug this in. Going to need a pick. Not very good without a pick. I'm not very good with a pick either. Have you heard there's another silver squeeze coming July 1 through 4th? Is that a silver squeeze or silver raid, I guess? <clears throat> All right, very good. Let's see, let's take a slurp of some water here. Ah, let's move this microphone a little closer to it. All right. Where is our power? Oh, I need to turn on the power strip. It would help. There we go. There we go. It's got to warm up. It doesn't have tools, but it doesn't have tubes, but I digress. hear that all right we're gonna have a little fun now let's see i don't know man dude grief disco i'm not man i do not uh do not uh, know that one i'm sorry my friend stairway to heaven i don't even know any of the stairway that's some complicated picking all right good that's some complicated picking we rock oh my goodness i i you know i kind of forgot that one i used to know we rock but i can't <laughs> This old um, deep purple song for you, uh, Silver Turtle 65. Megadeth. Oh man. Uh, shoot, I don't know Hangar 18, but how about this? Uh
You take your mortal man and put him in control. Play my heart will go on. And I'm not going to know all this stuff, but anyways. But y'all can hear that okay? Let's see here, all right? <laughs> Of spades, that'd be nice. That'd be nice if I could do some Ace of Spades. I don't know that one. Star Spangled Banner by Jimi Hendrix. I know it, but not by the Jimi Hendrix version. <laughs> Oh man, Saba True. Shoot. Don't know that one, man. Dang it. Um my guitar strings are melting. How about this one? Smith, have a good night. My amp goes up to 11. Yes, indeed. All right. Brown on girl. GCD. Yeah, yeah. I tried. <laughs> I'm trying to think. is on here. effects on it so I'm trying to uh, find something that's cool here's something
I know know any Britney Spears, but I would certainly be for her getting out of her conservatory. And I also, I used to know Can't Touch This by MC Hammer, but I don't know it anymore. <laughs> Good night, Steve Catlett. Thank you for being here, Steve. Appreciate you. We're having a little bit of fun as we watch these markets. They're just kind of hanging out here. They're up slightly. Not a whole lot of activity, so we're just jamming our way out to the remainder of this stream just for fun. <laughs> Silver Turtle 65, thanks for hanging out with me, having a little bit of fun. Remember that Queen's White Queen's Reich song I know. Let me see here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Bob Sullivan. You are the man. Appreciate you, brother. Oh, thank you, Paul Baker. Very kind. Man, Hoosier Stacker. Whoa, thank you, sir. Whoa. He says, by the way, unless the modern PM market did not crash this weekend. Good night. Thank you, my friend. And thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, Bob Sullivan. Yeah, just having a little bit of fun here tonight. Yes, indeed. Um, I don't know that one, but how, how about this one? That's all I know from Be All End All from Anthrax, but I don't know Caught in a Mosh. Oakley Doakley, Simpson theme, Ned Flanders tribute, heavy metal band. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know it. I'm not seeing that from The Simpsons. But I'm not watching a whole lot of Simpsons. I uh, used to like Madonna, but her modern music sucks. Yes, indeed. Papa Don't Preach, I'm in Trouble Deep, but yes, indeed. <laughs> like a Prayer was a good song. State of Mind, Euphoria, yeah. <laughs> another channel. All right, Paul Baker, the grill was hot. Have a good one. All right, thank you so much. Gas Grill is coming out of this car stereo. Thank you so much. Sorry, my rock band. Ah, man, I don't know any Crowded House. I'm sorry. That was a good band, though. It was a very good band. I wish I could play everybody. Thank you. 
So far, Basil has not had any effect on the markets, guys. No effect. Can't play with madness, too. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you so much, my friend. Just having a little fun here tonight. Need Basil for my bunghole. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Dove. Have a good night, Dove Season. Thanks for coming on, brother. Is the song the only song I know all the lyrics to? And by the way, the markets have just popped again. Now they're down. Gold is down the lowest it's been the whole night. Down 90 cents, folks. Yes, indeed. The central banks are going down, says HBAC Residential. Thank you, Nordic Sack. And I'm just having a little fun here, just farting around. 
with the guitar a little bit. Having a little bit of fun tonight. Going a little longer than usual. I wish I knew some Hangar 18. Um, um, let's see. A creeping Death. I used to know. Um... from that but yeah i don't know uh hangar 18 i don't know i just don't know it anyways but yeah thank you guys i know i'm wearing out my welcome here tonight i'm just having a little fun thank you mickey fc i appreciate it brother playing um a long time but i never really took uh, lessons disco never really took any lessons so there's a lot of stuff i'm not doing right i'm not very fluid in my playing don't know much about scales or anything like that so i make a lot of mistakes Sets in this one. All right, thank you, Silver Steeler. Appreciate it, brother. He's at work. Thank you. All right, Chaos AD. Oh man. All right. Well, I don't know Chaos AD, Chaos AD, but I do know this. Wait, hold on a minute here. We find a good channel. Territory for you. I don't know all of territory, but anyways. <laughs> they got the guitar. Oh, shoot. I wish I could do that. Or I know. How about this one, guys? Everybody should know. Here's the chick song, Sheep Network. Now, this will get the ladies in.
Purple Rain. I wish I knew Purple Rain, Kristen, bro. That would be awesome. Prince was a master at the guitar. He was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Let's raid two pack coin roll hunter. He's at 929, promoing for one uh, kilogram giveaway. All right, you guys check out raid two pack coin roll hunter. I don't know who he is, but let's see if we can get him up to a to a thousand for sure. Check him out. All right, yes indeed. He only needs uh, 71 more to get to a thousand for a giveaway. <laughs> Guys, no any blues. Let me see if I All right, we've had a lot of fun. Sorry about that. I've done a little bit. I've had a little bit too much of this guitar. All right, we'll put that away. Thank you guys for bearing with me on that. Gotta have a little fun every once in a while. So that's what we did. All right. Hope you, uh, hope that didn't, uh, cause too much issues with you guys. As far as, in other words, hoping didn't bore you too much. We had a little bit of fun. So thanks for bearing with me on that. Ah, thank you guys. All right, very good. So there's where the markets are. Thank you guys for putting up with me. Uh, let's see. I don't do that very often, just so you know. I wh might whip out the guitar, but I don't usually put the amp out. Part of it because I tend to go overboard with it, and I apologize about that. Swillivate Metal, that's right, exactly. It made the numbers worse. Yeah, now they're down even more. Crazy. Yeah, the numbers are down. Gold is uh, down 80 cents now. Silver's down a nickel. And... Uh, 
Clap for Wolfman Clap. There you go, Jam. Thank you guys for putting up with me. We had some fun. Let's get a couple more comments before we say goodnight here. We've got uh, William Fender on this one here. We're going to go ahead and respond to his here really quickly here tonight. He says, I double dare um, them to crash the price of silver. I promise you they know exactly how many ounces of silver are sold every day. It bothers them when people buy silver because the value of the fiat is locked up and there is no velocity until you sell it and unlock uh, the value of the fiat. Uh, they would rather have every ounce of silver used up in a product that you will, will buy and use and keep the velocity going. You cannot manipulate forever. Eventually, you will find yourself between a rock and a hard place. Like the old saying goes, eventually the roosters will come home to roost. Well, and that's just it. We, um, uh, we hold the silver, and whenever the price goes down, typically most people see it as a buying opportunity. And uh, so, therefore, that kind of just puts out any um, of their purpose, whatever that purpose may be, if you believe in that. But thank you so much. I even see Peter Schiff play War Pigs. There you go. There may be something I can do that Peter Schiff can't. But who knows? We might find out that he's a virtuoso and he can play some Malmsteen. You know, you never know. We see the blisters on your fingers and videos. Oh, thanks, Jan. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I show up the calluses and stuff like that, Jan. Thank you. Thanks for putting up with me, guys. I do appreciate it. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Gas Girl likes to stack guitars. He probably plays really well. That's awesome. And very cool. There's probably some pretty talented musicians. Uh, losing or Louis Silver is very good at guitar, too. Much better than I am. Bunny Mustard says, um, of the big investors dip out and hypothetically retail investors hold and continue stacking. Will that push the market sideways? Um, um, I don't know. I mean, these big investors, retail investors, I don't know. Um, I, it very well could. Obviously, if there's somebody buying a whole heck of a lot of silver... And they uh, dip out like there was a, who was it, Berkshire Hathaway, sold a bunch of silver. And did it have a much of an effect on the markets? Probably so. That may be one reason why it fell if they had, you know, literally, you know, a couple, you know, I don't know how many ounces they had, but probably in the millions. That very well ha could have had an effect on the market. So it's anybody's guess there. But anyways. All right, guys, we've been going uh, streaming here for quite some time now. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, we had a good run here on this Eve of Basel Mark III Market Watch. It looks like it didn't have a whole lot of an effect on the metals. Let's see what we've got here for uh, how they ended up as the night uh, came to a close here in the markets in, in Asia. Uh, in a few hours, the London markets will open up. And it's very interesting, interesting to see how they react to the uh, uh, Basel III rules literally hours away from being implemented here. Right now, they're down uh, a bit more now. 1781.70 for gold, silver down five cents. We had our poll. Most of you feel, well, 61% of you feel that uh, in three months, it'll have an effect for the Basel of three rules. 39% now we're going to end that poll at 326 votes. The most participation we've ever had in a poll tonight. So, yes, appreciate you guys being here. We had fun. Thank you again. A multitude of gratitude to you all for being here. Thank you again to all the new folks that came in tonight. And thanks for putting up with me. Uh, Kristen Rowe, appreciate you so much. And everybody else, have a wonderful evening all. A multitude of gratitude. Let me leave you with this uh, piece of advice that I think you will find very valuable in life. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care, all.